Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's a word problem. Rose had some rice. She gave a quarter of it to her sister and cooked one sixth of the remaining. What fraction of the rice did she cook? And if she cooked half a kilogram of rice, then how much rice had she at first? All right, so two questions A and B. Now, she had some rice. Okay, Rose had some rice. Let's make a model to represent the rice that Rose had. So let's say that this is the model for the rice that Rose had. Okay, let's color it pink. Then what she did was she gave a quarter of it to her sister, which means that if she divided this whole rice into four equal parts, okay, then one of those parts is one quarter and that's what she gave to her sister. Okay, so let's suppose that this is what she gave to her sister. The first one over here, okay, this is one fourth of this rice, right? Actually, let me write this down over here. This is rice. And this would be one fourth, one out of the four parts. Okay, let's color it purple. So this is what she gave to the sister and this is one quarter of the rice. So this is one fourth of the rice. Okay, so the purple unit over here is what she gave to the sister and that's equal to a quarter of the rice. Okay, if that's one quarter of the rice which she gave to the sister, then how much is left? Well, there are three parts that are left, one, two, and three. And these three parts together, they represent what fraction of the rice? Well, the rice is divided into four equal parts. And if three parts are left, then what is left is three out of the four parts. That's the fraction of the rice that's left. So this guy over here, okay, this guy over here, let me fill some color into it. Let's say yellow. Okay, so this guy over here is the remaining quantity of rice and that is equal to three quarters of the rice, right? We just saw that this is the remaining amount of rice and it's equal to three quarters, okay? This is three fourths of the rice that she had at first. Okay, now the purple one is what she gave to the sister. So let's write down sister here. So the sister got one fourth and what remained was three fourths or three quarters of the rice. Okay, now let's separate these out, okay? So this is what the sister got. Let's put it here. And this over here is what remained. Let's put that over here. Now, what she did next was she cooked one-sixth of the remaining. Okay, now this is your remaining rice. This over here is the remaining rice. And what she did was she cooked one-sixth of this yellow block. Now, one-sixth of the yellow block would mean that if we divide this yellow block into six equal parts, then one of those parts would represent one-sixth, right? One-sixth of the yellow block. So one-sixth of the yellow block, which is this guy over here, right? This one over here, let me mark that. This blue guy over here, okay? This is what she cooked, right? Because she cooked one-sixth of the remaining and we divided the remaining quantity of rice into six equal parts. So each of the parts would be a sixth, right? A sixth of the remaining. So this is one sixth of the remaining rice, which is the yellow block. So one sixth of the remaining rice is this blue block over here. And this is what she cooked. So this is what she cooked. Let's write on cooked here. Now, what we have to find out is what fraction of the rice did she cook? Now, this is a little tricky, okay? What this one sixth here represents is one sixth of the yellow. But what we have to find out is what fraction of this pink block of rice is this small blue block, which means, in other words, how many of these small blue blocks will it take to make this pink block of rice? Okay, let's say it one more time. So what we are given is this blue block over here represents the fraction one sixth of the remaining rice, which is this yellow block over here. And what we have to find out is what fraction of this pink block does this small little blue block represent? All right, so let's do the calculation over here. We know that she cooked one sixth of the remaining rice. Okay, so she cooked one sixth of the remaining. Now, what fraction 
of the rice is this remaining rice equal to? Well, it's equal to three quarters of the rice. We just saw that before that it's equal to three quarters of this pink block. So this remaining rice can be written down as three quarters of the rice, right? Because it's really three quarters of the rice. So the remaining rice is actually equal to three quarters of the rice. So now if we simplify this, what we get is she actually cooked one sixth of three quarters of the rice. This is what she cooked. Now, if you simplify this statement over here and you divide 6 and 3 both by 3, then what you get is 1 over here and 2 over here. Now, this is quite simple. 1 times 1 is equal to 1 and 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So, this is really equal to 1 eighth of the rice, which means that this blue block over here, this small little blue block over here is equal to 1 eighth of this big pink block over here, which means that if you divide this pink block over here into eight equal parts, okay, something like this, if you divide it into eight equal parts, then this blue block would be one of those eight parts. So it would be this over here. Okay, so this is the amount of rice that she cooked. And this is equal to one eighth of this whole pink block over here. And that's your answer. What fraction of the rice did she cook? Well, the answer is she cooked one eighth of the rice. So it's very important. Fractions are always part of a whole. This one sixth over here says that if the remaining is considered as one whole, then the amount of rice that she cooked is one out of six parts. Okay, one sixth of the remaining. But if the rice is considered, if this pink block is considered as one whole, then the fraction of the rice that she cooked would be one eighth. That is one out of the eight parts. All right. Okay, so that's done. So part A is taken care of. How about B? Now B says that if she cooked half a kg of rice, then how much rice had she at first? So it's telling us that this little blue block over here is equal to, if it's equal to half a kg of rice, okay, if it's half a kilogram of rice, then how much rice had she at first? So we have to find out what this whole rice, this pink block in kilograms would be equal to. Okay, so what we know is one unit is equal to half a kg. All right, so this is done. Now one unit is equal to half a kilogram then how many would be eight units equal to, right? We know there are eight units because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we know that this one is out of eight. So there are eight blocks over here. So there are eight units over here. So if one unit is equal to half a kg, then eight units would obviously be equal to eight times half a kg, right? And eight times half a kg, if you simplify that, you get four here and this gives you four kilogram, which means that this whole pink block in kilograms is equal to four. So it's four kilograms. So if she cooked half a kg of rice, okay, the amount of rice that she cooked, if that was half a kg, then how much rice had she at first? Well, she had four kilograms of rice at first. That's all that brings us to the end of this word problem, which I hope you understood. And I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.